is 10 questions for all homesteaders. And I was tagged by Simply Jan Homesteading. Here is my attempt to tell you something that you haven't heard before. Who knows? How did I get started on homesteading? This is my sweet papa. He would take me to go sell sweet potatoes with him. Um, he used to take me to the farmer's market. My papa is the reason that I love to be in the garden. My papa is the reason that I love um, wild game. My papa is the reason that I love to process my own food. And my mama too. My mama, um, they were a team, man. <laughs> they loved each other, and you could tell that they. My mama told me the other day that she never wanted anyone else but my papa. Question number two What is something you want to add? in 2020. Mine is definitely a greenhouse. But I also want to convert my garden space all into raised beds. And I am building my chicken tractor so that it will fit in between each of the beds. So that's exciting. Um, another thing that I want this year might not happen this year but I'm hoping that it does and that is that I can get a goat I can't help it I want a goat so bad I love goats it just kills me I want a goat so bad and a mate would be nice just saying. <laughs> Question number three. What is the most difficult lesson that you have learned? Not everyone is going to support your vision. It's a harsh reality. You are just getting into homesteading, and you are ready to abandon it all and go out and live your dream. Not everybody, most people, are not going to applaud you as you ride off into the sunset with their grandchildren. And, <laughs> um, yeah, not, um, that's the hardest the hardest and most difficult lesson that I have had to learn is that I'm going to have to do this on my own steam and that my family is not going to be supportive. Sad face. But it's still worth it. Failed it! <laughs> okay. Number four, what is your favorite chore to do on the homestead? Well, it ain't cleaning, y'all. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I could tell you what it ain't. It ain't cleaning. Oh, yeah, I love to clean all day long. It's all I do. Am who I am. Number four. What is your favorite chore to do on the homestead? Aside from the obvious, cooking, cleaning, and baking all day. <laughs> yeah, right. It's playing with the puppies, duh. <laughs> and feeding the chickens and mm, 
I love being in the garden. Oh, and there's green things popping up out of the ground. And I'm like, ah, where have you been my whole winter? Question number five. What is your favorite thing to grow? Side note. This is my favorite question. <laughs> Pause. <sighs> Breathe. Mental clarity. Aside from the obvious tomatoes, duh. Tomatoes. I love growing tomatoes. They are so fun to grow. And then, then they get the little side branches <laughs> broken out of their armpits. And then I snip them off and I plant them to win-win. Free plants all day. What? Obviously, tomatoes. Number one. Tomatoes for the win. Or no. Yes, is that a gang sign? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm a dog. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Question number six. What is your favorite thing about the homesteading community? I love this community. For real, before I met you guys, I had nowhere to talk about all this stuff that I love. And everybody else thinks I'm nuts. People that know me personally, that have interaction with me on a day-to-day -day basis, I wear them out with this stuff. And they have no desire to, they have no interest in any of it. They think I'm nuts, like nutso, like nuts, nuts. For real. Having someone who gets it. It is such a relief to find people who really understand how excited you are about something as crazy and silly as tomatoes. Like how they smell, how their leaves have that little fur <laughs> almost. It's like fussy. And then it has those little hairs on the stem that go all over, up and down, which are If you bury them deep enough, what? I know, it's so funny. <laughs> I love tomatoes. Okay, number seven. What is your favorite meal that you cook? <sighs> um, my favorite meal that I cook would have to be probably stir fry. Um, I make a mean stir fry. I was like stalking the people at the hibachi restaurant and I was watching them while they were working on them griddles and you know they got the big flat iron skillet thing okay and you put the meat on there and the rice and the eggs and the onion and the zucchini and all that kind of stuff. I sat there and watched them like a hawk and I watched everything that they put in it and then I asked them questions like every time they would put something on there I was like oh what is that what is that? I acted like I was real picky <laughs> I was like oh wait whoa, whoa, whoa. what is that and they'd tell me and I was like oh okay okay and then I like jot it down <laughs> and then I got home and I tried to make it and I had to like tweak it and I can tell you right now the key to making homemade stir-fry 
is the ginger. If you got the ginger and you got the garlic, you got a little soy sauce, a pinch of brown sugar, don't put too much, mm -hmm. and you will not believe it tastes just like the cook at your table place. Oh, that's so good. And you know, I eat. Please, I love to eat. It is my favorite pastime, besides gardening. I mean, they're pretty close. I can eat while I garden. That would be like, <laughs> Start fry. Number eight. What is your favorite holiday? I love Christmas. I love Christmas. I feel like a little kid. I love that it stands for the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and love the story of the three wise men bringing him gifts, and, and I love Christmas, and all that it stands for, and what it means personally to me. Um, I love any holiday where my family all gathers, and we get to see the babies, I'm on Easter and bring the kids for Easter egg hunts because we got the best Easter egg hunts around ever. Boom. <laughs> right. um, we used to do Father's Day, but since Papa died, we haven't been doing that. Um, it's kind of hard to do that with him not here. Oh, Jesus. This is not good. Okay, um, what is your favorite holiday? Christmas. And any other holiday that our family gathers? There's the short answer. Number nine. Is your homestead your permanent homestead? And I am going to say no. Even though it is my desire to stay on my family land, um, that my papa uh, built most of the structures on. He is the one that taught me how to do pretty much everything and it is my desire to stay here. One thing is that it is three acres here and I would I would I would definitely need more acreage to be able to responsibly support the amount of animals that I would like to have. So, my short answer is no. Number 10. This is the hardest of all the questions. What YouTube homesteader do you watch and learn from the most? Oh, mercy. I learn from everybody. I watch a lot of people on YouTube. Um, and my gardener, Roots and Refuge, The Stivers, Homestead, got me started doing YouTube and really kicked me into high gear to do homesteading was Zach and Jen at the Stivers. Anyways, shook me out of a very, very deep and dark depression that I was in. And I will be forever, forever grateful. And I have a special place in my heart for one of my favorite homesteaders. I'm closest to him than I am the rest of them. And that would have to be Mark at Rolling Homestead. He is family. If you haven't done this challenge, but you have the mindset and the heart of a homesteader, I would like you to do this. Love you fam. God bless you.